after a Russian drone incursion into the Polish airspace on September 9, 2025, the wreckages of at least 16 drones were found in different locations on the territory of Poland. All of the remains have one thing in common. They belong to the same type of drone. Gerbera It's been three years already since the notorious Shahed, aka Garan long-range strike drone has appeared on the battlefield in Ukraine. As the time passed by and the Shahed strike campaign continued, the Russians decided to create a cheap and simplified complement for Garan series attack drone that would contribute to the saturation of Ukrainian air defenses. Just like Garan, Gerbera has a delta wing design with its body made of styrofoam and plywood. It's propelled by a motor installed in the rear. Gerbera is a multi-role UAV capable of performing strike, reconnaissance and decoy missions. According to available information, the wreckages of Gerbera drones found on the territory of Poland possessed neither warhead nor surveillance equipment. So thus, they were all decoys. Just as Shahed, the Gerbera drone is assembled at the infamous Yalabuga facility in Republic of Tatarstan, southwestern Russia. According to the Ukrainian intelligence, the kits for assembly are supplied by the Chinese company called Skywalker Technology. Gerbera made its first public appearance in July 2024, when it was presented in a clip published by Stalin's Falcons, a group linked to the Yelabuga drone production facility. From that moment, the UAV has been used in countless Russian attacks on the Ukrainian territory, usually operating in tandem with the Shahed strike drone. To counter these drones, the Ukrainians are employing a variety of methods including different types of interceptor drones, combat helicopters, anti-aircraft guns, as well as electronic warfare equipment. The appearance of Gerbera UAV undoubtedly provided the Ukrainian air defense personnel with even more work than they previously had. It might be also a monument for Russia's evolving philosophy of conducting war against a peer opponent. To conclude this video, I leave you an assessment by prominent Polish defense analyst Konrad Muzyka. The war in Ukraine has profoundly degraded Russia's ability to conduct large-scale operations against a technologically advanced opponent. In response to these constraints, Russia has shifted towards the mass production of lower-end systems, pursuing quantity as a substitute for quality. The central vulnerability in current assessments of Russia lies in an incomplete understanding of the trajectory of its drone development.